Hey Colts, this is Mrs. Haladin coming to you with this week's announcements. I wanted to welcome all of our uh, new in-person Colts back to campus this week. We're really excited that you're here. And for those of you joining us um, with your learning from home through our InterConnect program, it's great to see you too. And we hope you have an amazing week at home as well. This is a big week for everybody, our students, our staff, our parents, and myself included. So let's make it a great one. I wanted to let you know that we are going to continue to do our weekly announcements online. That seems to work pretty well for all of us, and it allows our online learners to stay participating in the announcements. Um, you will find students that are learning in person that your teacher will likely be doing the pledge with you every morning, which they may or may not have been doing thus far. So that's something to look forward to. Let's jump right into our announcements. I have been sharing with you some fun ways to celebrate yourself or to celebrate your classmates um, through these avid chants. So I have two new ones to share and they're both kind of silly, so bear with me. The first one is called a mirror cheer and it's the one on the top right of your screen. And this one, you take your fingers and you outline a mirror around your face and then you say, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, looking good. And that's the mirror chant. So let's try it together. A mirror chant on three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm, looking good, Mrs. Haladin. All right, I hope that you have fun with that one. All right, the next one is called the rubber band. And in this one, we're gonna have a pretend rubber band in our hands and we're going to stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And then when we think it's about to pop, we're gonna let it go and clap our hands together really fast. So let's try it together. Rubber band on three, one, two, three. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. All right, that one is a great one for celebrating your classmates, and the mirror chair is a great one for celebrating your hard work. Let's give those a go and see what else we have in store in our announcements. We have a few birthdays to celebrate this week. Please join me in saying happy birthday to Natalie P, Wyatt M, Mia Amor T, Sophia Z, Allison M, Bailey S, Hunter C, Andrew C, Bailey C, and Trace H. Happy, happy birthday, Colts. Let's give them a rubber band ch uh, chant on three. Ready? One, two, three. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. <laughs> happy birthday, Colts. Have a great day celebrating you. This Friday is a special day. Every Friday is Colt Pride Spirit Day, but this Friday is super special because it's the first one that many of us will spend together in the same space. I encourage you to wear your Colt Pride and show what makes you proud to be a Colt. You can wear your Colt Pride at home. You can wear it at school. All you've got to do is pull out your things that are blue, your things that are yellow, your things that are zebra print, or your Colt Pride um, t-shirts or hats or shorts, whatever you happen to have on hand, and um, wear that with pride. We'll be taking pictures throughout the day and many of those might end up in our yearbook so um dig it through your closet find something fun to wear for our first spirit day in person all right last week we took a fun trip to the colt neighborhood and we played a really cool game using um, our sense of touch to discover a putty substance that miss saint john um, had me feel i wonder what miss saint john has in store for us today let's check it out good morning from the neighborhood welcome back Last week we talked about paying attention to using our sense of touch. This week we're going to talk about being mindful of our feelings. There are a lot of big changes coming up at school and it's really helpful when we're paying attention to how we feel about that. So here in the Colt neighborhood room we've created a bulletin board um, to help us figure out how we might be feeling. So there are different zones of feelings. So in the green zone you might be feeling courageous or proud happy or calm, or there's a blue zone where you might be feeling disappointed, sad, or bored. In the yellow zone, you might be feeling confused, embarrassed, nervous, surprised, grumpy, curious, silly, left out, shy, or excited. And there's a red zone where you might be feeling really scared, angry, or frustrated. A couple things that are important to know about feelings is that, um, first of all, no matter what you're feeling, it's okay. There's no such thing as good feelings or bad feelings. The second thing is that um, people have different feelings about the same situation. Some people might be feeling really excited about coming back to school. 
some people may be feeling really nervous or worried. And then we have our friends who are staying on distance learning and they may be having different feelings about that. You may even have what they call mixed feelings where you feel more than one feeling at a time. You might be feeling excited and nervous all at the same time. The other thing is that feelings come in different intensities. So you can see from here, they might range from one to 10. Um, our goal is to stay right here in this green zone. That's when we're most ready to learn. Um, or we might be feeling in the blue zone where the energy or the intensity of your feeling is really low. Or it might get a little bit higher in here in the yellow zone. And when we get to the red zone, that's when our feelings are really big and we're kind of feeling out of control and we need help from an adult to, to work through that. Um, the other thing to know is that our feelings change a lot, um, kind of like the weather. And by using strategies like the breathing strategy we practiced a couple weeks ago, with practice, we can move from one zone to another with more ease. So again, um, the important thing with mindfulness is to just pay attention to what's happening right here, right now with kindness and curiosity. And we can do that with our feelings as well. So this week, as we get ready for school, um, practice paying attention to how you're feeling and remember through all of it to just breathe. So that's all from the neighborhood for now. Until next week, have a great week. Thanks, Miss St. John. That was awesome. Let's give Miss St. John a mirror cheer. A mirror cheer on three. Mm -mm -mm, looking good, Miss St. John. All right. Well, that's it for this week's edition of our cult announcements. I hope that you learned something new and had some fun. Hey, I wanted to share with you one thing. I don't know how many of you are football fans, but I am a huge Steelers fan. Anybody else out there like the Steelers? If you like football at all, we're going to get along really well. But if you like the Steelers, mm, we're going to be BFFs. All right, friends. I'll see you later. Have a great day, Colts. Bye.